the hoodoo's on the left. Yeah. All right, drink some water. And, uh, we can still use it, uh, but now it's cleaned by the snowbird, so they yeah. charge you a cleaning fee, which is kind of expensive. This is easy peasy. Just straight. What? How far? I don't know if you can look at the map about and see. 15 miles. I would say about seven more miles maybe so we passed gooseberry back there at that pit toilet i don't know seven or eight miles to go is that a diesel how big is the tank it's a huge tank all right ready to go gas needle at last time you looked. Oh, it's almost full. <laughs> Still way more than three quarter tank. That's a huge tank. stay there they always have to clean it to their standards yeah I mean in a way that makes sense yeah but that's too bad it costs that much I guess it's something like 120 bucks or something like that I'm like wow that's, that's anyway it was like I was thinking about doing it last Friday you know last Friday was the day that Eric blew up me yeah he told me the price has like <laughs> that <laughs> yeah right. although if you stay for multiple days you know you can probably divide that cleaning fee yeah you know, i don't think they clean it every day they can just do it at the end that. i think that makes sense but uh i've never stayed there multiple days i just stay a night stay one night Maybe I should. Maybe I should. Well, we purchased our tickets for next year. Oh, what did you do? We did the icon again. Because okay. okay. Diane, we were able to get her tickets at a student discount. Ah. And then when we renew, there is a renewal discount. So, shoot, I can't remember the numbers. But you got the one that you can use, Alta. Yeah. And we even got the one that doesn't have blackout days. Yeah, I mean, I think you have to for Alta, right? Alta is so basic. Uh, or you upgrade to the plus. So we were going to do the base that had blackout days. Here, you can go in front of me. We were going to do the base that has the blackout days and then do the plus. 
which let us get to Alta and other places. All right. But then when I compared the numbers of the base with the plus versus just the standard that had seven days and no blackout days, there's only like a hundred bucks total for our whole family more. I was like, oh, well, this way we can ski during Christmas time and we get seven days at Alta Snowbird instead of just five. And so I was like, okay, we'll do the standard. But then when I added up the price and the thing that's more difficult this year is Nora's older, so she's not a child. She's the young adult. At least Soren is still a child. So that's what made the price increase the most was Nora. Because it used to be we would get our passes and everything for $1,600. And that's why I was thinking, okay, that's the best value for our family. Because, you know, Snowbird family pass is like two grand. about, yeah. Yeah. But then with Nora going up, and then with the other things, I mean, then it, the price is up to like 3200 with that icon thing. But once I put it in the cart and I started selecting the people, and then it was recognizing that we're doing a renewal rate. And then once we put in, it was actually kind of tricky to get Diane as a student discount because you have to verify it with her email address. And the thing that makes it difficult is when they verify using the email address, the primary account holder has to be using that email address, the student one. Oh. So I had to call up support and have them change that primary email. So it took quite a bit of effort, but then it just came out to be $100 more than the Alta Pass. Because Alta Pass, I think, was $2,600 now. You know, $25.99 for the family. So 26, for us it came out to be 27. Uh, probably not, I don't know. I would love to do a ski trip. The hard part is ski trips are expensive. Yeah, yeah. I mean, even though now we have a pass that would get us so that we'd have free skiing, still have to pay for lodging. And then depending on where we're going, we travel to and from. So, okay, as part of this pass, it has, oh, it just looks so neat to go to Europe. And ski oh, Chamonix yeah. or something like that. Yeah, now you got airfare. <laughs> yeah, so then you got airfare, and then those hotels there are super expensive. Uh, they also show on there, which I'd love.